Hello, dear friend. This is your Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you. Share with you another word from the Bible. <coughs> the Holy Word of God. I pray, God, that this little ten-minute message will be a blessing to your life. I'm going to speak on to, to the fact that, that the Lord God is all that you really need. God is all that you really need. Over in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, in the 59th chapter, verse 1, it says, Beloved, the Lord God, behold, the Lord God's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. The Lord is still able to save people, to change their lives, to save their souls from a devil's hell, to give them peace, to give them a place in heaven, to write their name in heaven, and to know that they're born again. He does this because He cares for you. He loves you so much. And He wants you to become His. And He's calling you to Himself right now. Saying, look unto me. Look unto me. And be saved. For I am your God and I love you. And then it says, we knew we, His ear is not heavy that it cannot hear. He hears your prayers. But sometimes it says your iniquities have separated you, know, but, uh, you between you and your God. Sometimes our sins have separated us, so we need to pray God forgive. Whatever we've done wrong. Some of us have, have done so many bad things. I've known a man and I prayed with him and he accepted Christ. He had killed two people. God will forgive even the murderer. I've known people that have done bad things. Thieves that have stolen, but God's forgiven. There's, a, there's a, I think, the sin of abortion, taking a life, a baby's life, unborn. And life is sacred to God. It's sacred to God. I, I don't think abortion is right, and it's something we need to see as a, a sin before the Lord. If you're pregnant, dear lady, and uh, you didn't mean to be, then go ahead and have that child. God will take care of you and the child. He'll make a way for you. Oh, I praise God. I read somewhere this thought I'll share with you. Back in, in England, many years ago, there was a man and woman that had 14 children. 14 children. And the man had lost his job, and they were just about to go under. They didn't know how they was going to pay their next month's rent. And they had, and she became pregnant again. Now, would you uh, suggest that she have abortion for that 15th child? If you had, you would have killed John Wesley. <laughs> John Wesley was a great preacher and established the Methodist Church in England and spread all over the world. Oh, we never know who that child is. Now then, if you're guilty of that sin, know that God forgives you and He loves you and He'll forgive you of that sin. He'll forgive you. The Bible tells us and shows us and teaches us to confess our sins and God will forgive us. First John, the first chapter, it says, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins in the blood of Christ and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God wants to forgive you and, and wash you clean from that sin and you're clean and you belong to God and you can go on and live for the Lord. Amen. Amen. God, and then I want you that are, that are listening to Christian and you're talking to someone that has a baby and they don't know what to do about it because maybe they're not married, etc. I don't know. Just talk to them and tell them that God will forgive them to go ahead and have that baby and let God bless them. You'll not only bless one life, you'll bless two lives. God be with you. Know that God forgives and God saves. Oh, praise God. He's all we really need. He'll forgive you of every sin. He's forgiven me. The Bible says over in Psalms in the... Uh, 138th Psalm it says in the day when I cried the Lord answered me and he strengthened me and gave me strength in my soul when I cried to the Lord he heard me you need only to pray God forgive me in the name of Jesus who died for me he paid for your sin all of them whatever you've done they're all under the blood and you're clean when you pray and ask God to forgive you. 
and ask Jesus to come into your heart. Amen. And when you do that, He'll do it. He'll do it because God will do it. He'll help you do it. Over in the book of Jeremiah, in the uh, in the 32nd chapter of, of, uh, of Jeremiah, we read these words. In verse 17, And the Lord God said that they that, uh, that has made me, hey, he may have made heaven and earth by his great power, and he can do all things, and there is nothing too hard for him. There is not anything too hard for God. He made the heavens and the earth. He made it all. He made you and me. He gives us the breath we're breathing right now. And he walks with us and longs to be with us always. He said, I want to be your God. I want to hold you in my hand. I want to lead your life. I want to bless you. Trust me. Trust me. I want you to trust him and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. If you're not sure you're going to heaven, then pray this brief prayer with me. Asking God to forgive you. And he'll wash you and make you clean. And he'll write your name in heaven. He'll say to him, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me and paid for all my sins upon that cross at Calvary. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray a prayer like that and you'll live forever. And you'll know that God is really all that you need. He's really all you need when you do that. Praise the Lord God. We read over in the book of, of uh, Psalms again, that word that I read, and then we turn to the book of 2 uh, of, uh, uh, Corinthians in the first chapter, and we read these words. Paul said, We had a sense of death upon us, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. Paul said, We faced problems and troubles when we went to this area where we were going into there in Asia, and he said, we, we thought we were going to die. We didn't see how we could get out of it. We had this sentence of death upon us. You may look and be looking right now at a big, heavy problem in your life, it's a problem so heavy that you can't bear. You can't carry it. It's a, it's a, it's something that has transformed you into where you can't find the answer, and you need help. You have the sentence of death upon you. But listen, he said we had the sentence of death upon us in order that we might not trust ourselves, but in God, who raises the dead. And so God is wanting you to trust Him. And when you turn it all over to him completely and say, Lord, forgive me. I've been trying to figure this out and I can't. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to turn it over to you. I'm going to believe that you'll carry it for me. I believe you'll forgive me. I believe you'll make a way. I believe you'll open the door. I believe you'll solve this problem. He'll do it for you. Oh, praise God. For he said, we, we, do, we are delivered and we know that he will continue to deliver and will continue to, to deliver us as we wait on him. Not only did he deliver Paul, but Paul said he's going to keep on delivering us. He's going to keep on doing it. He'll keep on doing it. I want you to know that, believe that, trust God, because he's with you now to bless you, <clears throat> to help you, whatever you're facing. You're not alone. You'll never be alone. You'll never be alone. I sing, <clears throat> I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Oh, sometimes when I'm, I'm tempted, and the clouds and shadows arise, Oh, I know not what to do, but I look to him and find a surprise. Because I know he cares, I cast it all on him, and he is always with me and will bring me through again. 
I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on that sparrow. He is watching you. He knows you. He loves you. He's with you. Stay firm. Keep on keeping on. Go on because God's going with you. And the hand of the Lord be upon you. He loves you and I love you. God be with you. He'll bring us through. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.